Welcome to Chronicles of Comfort. Our reading of comfort is taken from Ephesians 4, 32. And be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Forgiveness is something which is very hard to do at times. In small things, we may find it easy to administer. But when we believe that individuals have crossed the line and have said or done hurtful things or have expressed ingratitude, the forgiveness which is needed may take somewhat longer to materialize. When you look at 1 Samuel 25, it is clear that the actions of a wise woman, Abigail, prevented a lot of bloodshed. David and his men were hiding from Saul and they assisted the shepherds in the protection of Nabal's sheep. Now Nabal was Abigail's husband. As a result of David's protection, hardly any sheep was lost. It was time to take the wool off the sheep. So David sent 10 of his men with a message to Nabal. He was very polite with his message. He said, may you and your family have good health and may all who belong to you have good health i have heard that you are cutting the wool from your sheep you may not know me but when your shepherds were with us we did nothing wrong to them all the time we were with your shepherds we stole nothing from them we come at this happy time so for this reason be kind to my young men Please give them anything you can. Please do this for your son, David. Sounds nice enough to me, but Nabal's response was far from civil. He answered them, Who is David? Who is the son of Jesse? I have heard of slaves running away from their masters. You see me? I have bread and water, and I have killed meat for my servants who cut the wool. But I am not going to give anything. To any man, I don't know. He probably really did not know who David was. Because I do not think he would have sent a message like that for David. We must be very careful with our responses, especially in situations which can backfire on us. Now, when David heard that answer, to say he was upset will be a vast understatement. He told 400 of his men, get ready, we are going to attack. He had planned to kill Nabal and his family. Now, Abigail heard what her husband did, and she decided to take action without telling him. She packed two donkeys with food, drink, and meat, and other supplies, and she decided to take them to David herself. When she met him, she apologized and asked for forgiveness. She also told him that he was marked for greatness and she was sure he did not want innocent blood to be on his hands. Abigail's words found sanctuary in David's heart and prevented bloodshed. David considered his feelings and weighed them with his intentions and he decided that a change of heart was the more sensible approach to undertake. After Abigail related the story to Nabal, he had heart issues and died 10 days later. We must indeed be careful with our words. I pray that the story of David, Nabal, and Abigail encourage and teach us important lessons today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that we indeed will be kind. We ask you to lead out with our words. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. And as always, may the Chronicles of the Bible provide comfort and salvation to you.